Hi everyone, it's Neil and Wendy from DCS Coffee. Yeah. And we're back to go over the Magnifica Evo from DeLonghi, or Evo, but I'm gonna go with Evo. Because that Evo. seems yeah. to make sense. Yeah. Uh, there's two versions of this machine. There's one that has the latte crema system, and there's one that has just your Panarello wand. Um, so that's the other model. Uh, difference being basically your pre-programmed drinks on the top. They're pre-programmed for milk drinks on this version because obviously it makes the milk work. And on the machine with the Panarello, I have the little cheat sheets here. The buttons are uh, espresso, coffee, Americano, iced tea, long coffee, and steam. Whereas on here you've got my latte, latte macchiato, cappuccino, espresso, coffee, over ice, and hot water. Right. So. This machine is really, uh, we've seen a lot of this lately, a lot of people are trying to get into that entry level, super automatic price range. Philips has got their 3200 to 5400 series. Uh, DeLonghi's getting in there. This is one of the lowest priced super automatics we, we're seeing on the market. Um, to kind of go up against, the, I'd say, the Philips if you're looking, looking to compare. Uh, and it's, it's really for that person who's kind of like me, who just likes to go up and press Push a button, button. Yeah, mm -hmm. and get, get all the work done from. Yeah, button pushers. <laughs> People that don't like to use Panarello wands and don't know how to do latte art like myself. Um, so yeah, let's go over the machine a little bit. Um, right. Uh, 250 grams, bean hopper, 60 ounces tank. Tank is right here. Yeah, a couple of liters in there. Which is nice because you don't have to, if you have upper cabinets, you don't really have to worry about that. And um, So it does have a bypass chute. Okay. Right here. For ground coffee? Yeah, so you want to put ground coffee in. Um, when you fill the beans, you can lift it up and you can change your grind settings on top. 13 adjustments. Right. I just, I just read that. Right. Boy, so I have the two sheets. There we go. <laughs> and this will make your milk beverages kind of for you, so kind of effortless when it, it right. comes to Right, so if you uh, weren't a big fan of milk beverages or when the milk system is not sitting on the machine, push and pull. Push and pull. There's a button. Push and pull. All right. Press the button. <laughs> Then this would click in, so you don't have to have it sitting there. Yeah, and that's for your, then, hot, yeah. your hot water. Hot water. So your yeah. hot water is coming clean um, out of the machine. So it's got a push yeah. and pull. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, you've got uh, three strength size. Three bean strengths. Three bean strengths. I think it's three temperature strengths as well. Yes. Um, you can do the programming, uh, and the my latte is a customizable drink you can make just for yourself. So. It does say in, in the information we have that it's three types of brew. There's espresso, there's coffee, and there's over ice brew. We're not sure what that means, if it actually adjusts the, the amounts or grinds yet. We're not quite sure. Maybe we'll have a look and, and see when we're making it. wouldn't them. be the grind size, so yeah, I don't know what it, sure is, what it is. not quite sure what we'll, it is, but doing. we'll, uh, we'll kind of get to that. Um, if you, when you're done, your pucks will end up in here. You use pucks, throw them right in the garden, uh, or compost, and your drip tray's got the little red guy here that pops up when it's full. So. Um, usually that never happens though. So it seems like a fairly straightforward machine and what they've done here um, is has the words plus a visual of the drinks in yeah, color, which is nice. Which is nice. Which yeah. is nice. Uh, one thing we have in, in Plain Taste noticed that there's no rubber ring gasket around the top lid, so I haven't heard this yet, but I'm told. Wendy tells me it's a little bit loud. It is. It, it sounds like it's bouncing around a little bit so maybe, because it doesn't have that, but we'll maybe see. Maybe when we start it, we'll listen to it and then we'll do this and see if it changes it. Mm -hmm. And um, But overall, a good entry level machine. We're going to make a few beverages and uh, and kind of go from there and see how they turn out. So so we want to try a latte? Let's do a yeah, latte macchiato. I like that. Sounds like it's popping a little bit. It wasn't too bad. Didn't make a difference my eye, having my hand on there. It didn't really rattle. Uh, it no. wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as I thought it it's, would be. It's a little bit louder than the other ones. That's okay. why I just noticed that. So, so the other DeLong is uh, a little bit, just a little bit louder. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to get uh, is it milk first or espresso first, I wonder. Let's see what happens. Should be milk first, but we'll see. We have this on full strength. So what you do is you press the, the bean button to go to the strength. Mm -hmm. All right. Now keep in mind, if you're gonna order a coffee from one of these, if you're in North America, um, unlike Europe, people in North America, North America? North America. North America. People in America. People in North America also drink drip coffee, which is as popular in Europe, um, although they are getting better taste and, and moving away from it, a lot of people. Uh, so the coffee here will be espresso brewed, so it's gonna have a bit of creme on top. I'm actually curious to see if, if it does make any adjustments when we do that. Oh, well. there you go. And uh, you're only gonna get about an eight ounce size of coffee um, when you do make a coffee. That's about the largest you'll get. That's just a functionality of you can't get that many more grinds into the brewing chamber in order to, uh, to make a, a good quality cup of coffee than about an eight ounces, so. 
So we're thinking pipe. about 12 grams. So well, if you pu yeah. push too much water through it, it'll be watered in. Yeah. yeah. So you, you need a lot more than that. Right. So this is. I think we're going to be okay. I don't think we're going to go over. No. We have 5.5 inches in height. Adjustable. Yeah. So do you want to try this? It's very nice looking. We've been drinking coffee all morning, so. We have been. What's one more? Now the machine will tell you to clean itself after it does the milk. Yes. Which is kind of cool because it's automatic. You just press the button, I believe, and it's mm -hmm. going to run some water through our doohickey here. You don't have to until your last brew. So well, if you're doing do back it. to back, then you're, I'm just going to yeah. press it. I'm not even going to throw, throw a cup in there. I'm just going to go in the drip tray for now because you theoretically could do that. I mean, you kind of want to have a cup there, but. Mm. It's actually good. You're good? Yeah. I'm not a, not actually a big latte fan, but that's pretty good. And when it's cleaned out, you can take this right off and put it in the fridge. Um, right. Unless you're making another drink, then that would be silly. But yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that was that then. That's nice and easy. That's uh, super easy. Uh, want to do? Let's, do you want to do an espresso or do you want to do a coffee? I think we need a bigger cup for a coffee. So why are we doing? Oh, you've got. Look at you. It's not going to fit in there. Oh yes, it is. All right, it's going to fit. <laughs> So coffee, uh, I'm wondering how much creme we're going to get. Again, it is espresso brute, so let's just see. Again, we've got our buttons here for, you can press your strength size, one, two, three, or bypass. Right. So let's go to three, and we're just coffee. Out of the box, it comes pre-programmed, and then you can change the amount of water you want through that. So know. far, for, uh, for an entry level super, super, matic, it, super automatic, it's easy yeah it's very easy to use easy the visual is excellent also now there is this um so we're getting some crime yes it's still pressure brewed i don't think it made much of a difference no much of a change. that's why when you were asking me i was like i can't yeah. it's hard for something me. i read in one of the one of the spec documents they gave us you know three types of brew i'm like it's really just one um the over ice there's no ice in the machine uh, it doesn't do it cold it actually uh you need to have ice and it's going to brew hot over the ice uh no, there okay. is a machine that does do cold or ambient temperature water, that's the Jura Z10, different price bracket, uh, but it does cold, proper cold brew, um, which is also great for, it does cold brew in, it can do an overnight ice as well. So. Okay, so that, we need to program that a little higher, because that's not eight ounces. So to program the machine, uh, quite simple, we'll do this uh, maybe. But I mean, if you had 12 grams of coffee or okay. espresso only, you wouldn't want that's much. That's probably about a five. Ounce. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't want more than that. I bet. But it's not really a full cup of coffee then. And for so you just people hit it like again. me that need a gallon every morning, to get you just going. hit it again. Hit it again. You can go up. You press and hold the button until it beeps, and uh, then it'll brew. And then when you're done, you just press it again, and that sets your levels. So mm -hmm. uh, nice and easy. But that's actually good coffee. So what theoretically you could do is push more water through, and then just add an espresso shot. So make yourself a red eye if it wasn't yeah. strong enough. There's there's different workarounds. But I, I would I would yeah. add I would start by adding more liquid maybe to get up to here and see and what the taste see is like. At. And uh, that would probably that's probably about eight ounces up to here based on the size of this glass. Mm -hmm. I don't have giant hands, but they're pretty big uh, mm -hmm. for a guy my size. There's a times two button on here. Wendy, let's talk about the times two button. What does the times two button do? So if you hit the times two button, uh, the only button after that that will light up and allow you to press is the espresso button. So it's not actually brewing two times, it's just giving you an espresso into two cups. So let's try and do that. So you're getting this one amount of coffee, but double the liquid, so. Yes. I thought you just had a glass cup. I do, but do. just that's good enough. Yeah, so, so, so where sometimes in some machines, if you press a, an extra shot or times two, it'll actually brew twice, it'll actually grind and brew twice. What you're saying is this does not do that, you just get no. double the volume. Yeah, so you could. It's watered down then, basically. If you made it shorter, then it wouldn't really matter because... If you do like a one and a half ounce yeah. or something, it wouldn't mm -hmm. matter. But if you did a you know, four... It allows you to get two separate cups okay. of espresso if you wanted. Okay. So, yeah. first, so we'll press time two. Yeah, and, and espresso. espresso buttons. There you go. That's it. Okay. So theoretically, you could have two cups side by side to do that. Oh, now uh, we're out of beans. Now we're out of beans. I'm going to read some stats, stats on this machine because I have them right here in my fancy cheat notes. All right, go ahead. I have a decent memory, but not a ton of memory. So, um, it says here it's uh, from Romania. It says the product dimensions are depth 17.32 inches, height 14.17, and width 9.45. It's 20.8 pounds. And yeah, 
it comes in uh, basically the black and silver that you see right here. So it's not doing the double, it's just doing it. No. Okay. You just wanted uh, you to hear that it's not grinding and brewing yeah. twice. It's just going to pour whatever amount you have set into two cups. So this is not really a cup warmer, but you can keep your cup. So it's a little, a little warmer. It's not an active. It's more of a passive. The yeah. machine's heat is going to penetrate through if you want to warm your cups. Uh, overall, though, I think you know it's actually it's a simple, easy to use machine. There's right. not really any complexity to it. There's no you know profiles to set up. There's nothing. Nothing. Um, no, just the one programmable yeah. button, my and, latte, and, and everything else. Right. Overall, I like it for the price point. I think the price point's good. I think the, you know DeLonghi's got a, a good warranty. It's a two plus one year warranty. Uh, ECS Coffee, we're actually DeLonghi Warranty Center here in Canada, uh, so we actually uh, work on these quite a bit. Uh, my service techs, they, they you know, they, they, know they work stuff. on, they know their stuff. They, they like these machines. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, I, I, I think it's a winner for this, particularly this holiday season coming up. Uh, it does hit that price point. For those people looking to get something nice and simple in their kitchen, mm -hmm. not much fuss, and uh, go from there. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I like it. It's uh, what I like is the the visual ease and the actual ease of use. Programming, you're holding down a button, beeps, hit it again when you want it to stop, and it looks like it's the same for the amount of milk. Yeah. And then so once you're set up, every mug you probably have it programmed in. Basically, as uh, same as the photos you're going to see on top, and then you'd be good okay. to go. Even if guests came, you turn yeah. it on, hit a button, you're good to go. Even your guests could probably figure this out. Yeah. Um, so mm -hmm. very, very user friendly. I'd say if you're going to look at this, compare it again to Phillips 32 to 40, 300 series. Maybe the 50, maybe 54 is a little bit higher. Um, yeah. If you just drink coffee and you do not drink milk drinks at all, and you want a comparison, uh, the Jura uh, E4 and a 4. Yep. Would probably Either be, one of those. Uh, and the Miele, the 5130, I think? 5130. 51, is it 5130? Is that yeah. what it's called? 5130? Yeah. Uh, those would be the ones you want to compare to if you're doing comparisons uh, as to what you get bang for your buck. But I think this, um, yeah, I think this is going to do very well. The warranty alone? Yeah, warranties are a big thing. So Three years. Uh, three years does, does help out quite a yeah, bit. So, for sure. Overall, it's a winner, guys. If you yeah. have any questions, ask down below. These are available in Canada at ECS Coffee in our Burlington and Ancaster stores, as well as online. Yeah. And the lovely Wendy is here most days. And uh, come on in, I'll brew you a drink. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, awesome. guys. Until next time. See you. Take care. Bye.